Hey, what's going on, everybody? Kevin L. Johnson from Ozark, and you're watching EC Sports. Yeah, yo, check it. Turn me up a little bit on the mic. EC Sports episode. Let me think. I just did it. 12. Yeah, no, yep. 13. So we can go, man, we can go James Harden. We can go Mike Evans. We can go Dan Marino. We can go Kurt Warner. Wow. Oh, we could go. Oh, in five, four. Oh, you say Kurt Warner. Yeah, that's, yeah. Shit, you got me. We could either do, yeah, we could do A Rod too. I mean, yeah. 13's a, a cool number. A Rod. Who? A Rod on the Yankees. He wasn't 13. Yeah, he was. He was? A Rod's 13 on the Yankees. He was three in Texas. Oh. So he wasn't 13? Let me see A Rod. I got to check. A Rod was 13, That's... man. Alex Rodriguez, oh. man. A -Rod. How you gonna... <laughs> Sorry, I have to double check you, bro. I love these intros. I think this is my favorite part of the show. Yeah. The you jersey are, number right. intros. You're very That's what, like that. Seattle too. Yeah. Wow. You're right. 1333. Yeah. Yeah. So now I got to post all those pictures. That's good. Those are some good 13s. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, you can go Jason in that motherfucker too. Friday yeah. night. Friday the 13th. Halloween. Oh, very pop yeah. culture reference. There you go. Very pop culture. <laughs> Halloween. The People night. have a phobia of the number 13. Came out. Yeah, they do. You know that? There is no 13 in most hotels. Do you know that? I did not. Go to a hotel, like a nice hotel. There's no 13th floor. I think this show is going to be about the number 13. Yes. <laughs> but I didn't realize. Someone told me that I thought it was some bullshit. I was me and my wife are at the Westin. There's no 13th floor, bro. Jeez. It's weird as fuck. That's creepy. I yeah. like it. So go to Vegas. You'll see it. Speaking of Vegas, <laughs> as I transition easily over, uh, as everyone knows that watches EC Sports, you're a very huge uh Raiders fan. Um, is that apparent? Yeah. It uh, is, your, right? Your uh You've canceled your fantasy football title. <laughs> You've canceled it from Gruden's Grinders. Um, I mean, everybody's been talking about it. We're a little late, but I like the fact that everything's on the table now when we're talking about it. So, like, what what do you feel? What's your feeling of uh, everything that happened? You, you, it was literally a roller coaster because the first alleged email that came out against Demarius Smith, who was an NFLPA, um, you know, I don't condemn any of that, that stuff, like, you know, racism. You condone. And, yeah, I don't condone. I don't condone any of that stuff. <laughs> I, I don't condemn. condemn. I'm sorry, condone. <laughs> I'm just, see, that's the thing. The thing yeah. is all over the place. Yeah. I don't condone any of that kind of behavior. Um, the resurfacing was the most interesting part of it, like how it all came apart. You know, you're hearing reports. I know you told me that, like, oh, maybe because it was D. Smith trying to keep his job. Maybe they're just trying to do something to get the Raiders on the hot seat again. Because they're, they're the franchise that always gets caught with this kind of stuff. I mean, Al Davis, you know, left sour taste in all these uh, GMs and execs mouths and his son, kind of the same thing. Um, but, you know, it, it's sad. It's sad because the locker room actually really bought into John Gruden. And I know, you know, mediocre finish a seven and nine and eight and eight, but this team was progressing. Mm -hmm. They started off three and one, even that game against the Chargers, the fight they had in the second half. And then they have this bad week at practice. They have these allegations coming out. No one knows the future of Gruden. And then they come out in Vegas. And the, the sad part is I was actually like there witnessing the game. And it Where was they play? your bears. Okay. Your monsters, the midway, apparently <laughs> that, yeah, <laughs> that came out and just, they, they took advantage of the situation in a yeah. sense because they punched this. But, you know, it wasn't like the Bears came out and played like a like like how the Bucks would play and came out firing. You know, they won by 45 points. They very conservative play calling. The team just looked dejected on the Raiders side. And yeah. you could just tell um, the postgame press conference was very weak from the Raiders side. And you knew something was going to happen. 
whether it be John Green gets suspended. And then these other emails resurface of the, you know, anti, the homophobic and that, and the slurs and Dave the Chappelle. locker room. Yeah. And, and, I don't know the, he's and, not a Dave Chappelle. No, I did. I did. And, you know, it's interesting that he mentioned that too, but the yeah. whole like slurs and like the, and what's the, what's the word I'm looking for? Like the vulgar terms, ma- misogynistic, misogynistic. The, 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 the terms towards Goodell, like, like yeah. no one else has cursed out Goodell before. Anyway. Yeah. But right. these all re- these all resurface, and then John Green is left in a situation where Mark Davis is like, okay, I'm not gonna quote unquote fire you, but I'm gonna have to make you resign, yeah. and it's just an acceptance. It's like a mutual parting of what the hell. Now you look at it. Um, I watched all the press conferences. I I saw Derek Carr what he said about his coach. I mean, granted, he Which I lives next was the most. Um, that's the most honest take on it. Like, I don't condone anything that he did, but I mean, I love the guy. You know, I mean, he lives next door to him. He told he the literally, truth. I'm sure he, there's African American players, Hispanic players that feel the exact same way. D- Darren Waller came out and said the yeah. same thing. Um, KJ Wright, um, you know, a lot of these players, I'm no, telling you, the locker room, there, are, there isn't a lot of Hispanic players in the NFL. Sorry, no, it's okay. don't cancel me. There is no, 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 you're fine. You're fine. Um, but a lot of these players are rallying behind the coach because they've been with him for four years. And it's like, you don't understand, like all of a sudden, boom, it's like a, it's a twist of fate and he's out. And now Rich Passaccia is, and who is a great, honestly, Rich Passaccia is is taking this fully and, you know, he's a great leader. I don't know how much of a head coach he's going to be, what kind of play calling, but he trusts Greg Olson, Derek Carr and all them to make the right decisions. But what's your uh, take on, like, I've always thought about this. I've been in football forever. Mm-hmm. What what is the head coach's position? Is he is his job to delegate things to it depends guys like with our situation, our coach wanted to call the plays. Then mm-hmm. there's then there's where Belichick, where he has his son doing the defense, he has uh Josh doing offense, and he just makes sure I got the right people in the right place. Yeah, it's a mixture. With, with Gruden, you know how he is. I mean, you watch a lot of football. He's like to the T, right? A play is called, and if he doesn't like it, Derek Carr better change it. Because not, he's going to call timeout. And what did you not see there type thing? Yeah. Uh, he's very – he likes to have control of the game. I've watched a lot of Gruden, obviously. It's like Greg – Greg Olson, the offense, he calls 25% of the plays, 30% of the plays. But it's a relationship with Gruden and the QB. Okay. So if 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 Carr doesn't see something he likes, now he has the trust. He had the trust of Gruden before he got canned or let go, that he can make the adjustment. As you see, he does all these pre-snap reads and audibles and changes and re and 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 you know um, and kills and all these kind of things. And but Gruden's role on the offensive side is more called on the defensive side. He lets Gus Bradley do everything he wants. Mm-hmm. He is not Gruden is not a defensive minded coach. He just wants effort and he just lets his off a defensive coordinator make all the plays. And he'll um, question things that he might no, no yeah and, and he'll and he'll come in step in hey what do we see here all that kind yeah. of stuff but offensively he's supposed to be that cute I mean you had the QB camp of course he's going to have some kind of control on the offense yeah. now the impact of this and how it's going to affect the Raiders going forward I mean they're three and two one game out Mike Mayock came out and said it you know this team worked too hard to just fall flat on their backs and and we saw it. I mean, the Raiders first three weeks of the season looked like a true playoff contender. They had that rough game against San Diego or LA. I'm sorry, the chargers, and they still fought back. And then the bears game with the allegations fall flat. So this is an actual tested week. Apparently they had a really good week at practice. Everybody rallied with each other. They got, again? they got the Broncos divisional game in Denver. It's tough, but this is a true testament to the will of the team. And I feel like with the leaders on this team, you know, the, the cars, you know, the Josh Jacobs, Josh Jacobs and Max Crosby's, these are, these, these, these guys are all going to want to band everybody together. And this locker room is not broken. And, and that's one thing I could honestly say from the attitude of what the players are saying, this locker room is not broken. So I'm going to see how Rich Passaccio rallies these guys. Up the Raiders plus four? I would. I take, um, yeah. Oh, they're plus. Four. Oh yeah. Yeah, definitely. Road dog. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Too much talent on the team to just fall flat on your back. Chargers are a, a dog right now. Against yeah, they're the good. Wow. Yeah, but that's yeah. my take. I mean, I, I I don't condone any kind of behavior that's gonna like hurt somebody. I, I mean, but I just feel like the resurfacing. Where does it come from? 
Yeah. That's what so, I want to know. Here, I mean, there's a lot of colleagues that I have that are uh, African-American that I respect that uh, Jason Goff, so to speak, he has a he has a podcast now on The Ringer. Um, congratulations to him. He went kind of hard on Gruden. Uh, so did Keyshawn Johnson. Um, mm -hmm. Sometimes I feel like guys kind of like kill someone and just bury them without looking at the whole concept and aspect of it. Um, when I first, when I first initially heard like what he said about D Smith, like he said uh, something about Michelin tire lips. I'm not going to lie. I laughed. He does have big ass lips, but do I look at race? I don't know. As opposed to if he said you black this or that, you know, like if I said Danny with his beard this way, am I being right? You know what I'm saying? It's just, mm -hmm. it's like how you take everything. Yeah. Like you said, how it just amazingly just resurfaces. I literally was reading ESPN. They had an article about Smith possibly on the outs. He has to get this many votes. And right now they're bringing up a vote right now to see if he's going to keep his job then. Voila. Wow. Yeah. Look what we have. And I literally was it was the next day. So not making any excuses. I don't and, understand and, why you're doing emails about like bro, and, and, call and your and guy it, on the phone, bro. And I'll I'll tell you this, like the Raiders organization is probably, if not the most diverse. Uh they appreciate diversity, they appreciate continuity, bringing people together and unity. Uh from Al Davis's mission back in the 60s all the way to now um i've never heard of the raiders being a um ra like a, a quote-unquote like racist organization i never i never People need to understand that. the difference but, i'm not a, i'm not a fucking i'm not a a, a a fucking guru at it but racist and prejudiced are two different things if i'm racist against someone i can't i can't tolerate them right I don't want them on my team. I don't want to deal with them, right? Even if I'm a millionaire, if I'm racist, it's going to come out. Sterling, that motherfucker was a racist, but he yeah. didn't, you know what I'm saying? He hit it well, but he told motherfucker, like, bro, I don't want to fuck with you. Oh, he yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. He's like, uh, get away from me. You know what I'm saying? And people have to understand what prejudice and racist is. Um, again, he got caught. He, you know, he has to pay the consequences. It's just, I hate when things come out like at specific times and, you know, it's just, it's, it's crazy. You know, at, at this point it is what it is. Yeah. Um, but and you know, the bears got a win out of it. Sorry. Yeah. I mean, for you guys, congrats. Um, but I'll we got this, a lot of like, stuff going on here, bro. Like, yeah, no, definitely. With, uh, the quarterback situation and how he, which is another thing, how on one day, uh, what is our coaches? Matt Nagy. Me? Nagy was like, oh, we still don't know who the quarterback is. And then the very next day, he goes, all right, just as our quarterback for the future. That's clearly Pace or McCaskey saying, listen, dude, if you want your job, we need to see what you can do with Justin right now, or you could just kiss your shit goodbye. And I feel like that's what happened. So um, to this weekend, obviously, is a telltale. It's it's a Chicago thing. Like if you can't yeah. beat the Packers, blah blah blah. Um, yeah. I don't know right now, con considering what's going on with uh, Rodgers. I don't know if they're gonna go out and get their asses kicked, but I just don't. I don't know. I'm uh, not gonna put any money on it. But I mean, a, from a, what I saw, from what I saw on the play calling last week. Yeah. The most conservative play, the most probably the most conservative game I've ever watched. I didn't see Fields drop back and throw a ball over 25. Mm -hmm. Um, I saw a lot of short passing, dink and dunk, they which is fine. It's uh, it's except it's honestly, it's perfectly fine game plan. If it, if you can't stop it, keep it going, right? And they were running the ball well, they were gashing us on the run. Uh their defense stepped up. Our best running back. Yeah, yeah. And Damian Williams is not a scrub, uh, Other and he made us pay for it. Khalil Herbert. Hard, tough runner he just made us pay for it and it was it wasn't good uh but again both both teams right the bears have a big test this week the raiders have a huge test this week let's see what they come come yeah. with but uh, i'm staying away from both games i do i would definitely do the same betting <laughs> i i, I just, actually actually no no i'm taking my back i'll take the raiders plus four you're gonna take the raiders plus four i would 
Denver, I just I don't know. Weird Denver, team. They got Teddy. Teddy Bridge. Right? Teddy's such a game he's, manager, bro. Yeah, he's up and down. I mean, like manages you know, games though. Bro. But you but you'll see it like when the pressure gets on, is he gonna be able to like is is he gonna run out of the pot? Like they got weapons in Denver. They really do. Yeah. Um, Cortland Sutton, they got Tim Patrick, they got, uh, who's the other receiver? They got KJ Hamler, and then they got their running game with Gordon and Williams. What's his name playing? Uh, Jared Judy's out. He's out. He's on IR. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, it'll be a a crazy weekend. So, um, we got some time left. We can head over to, uh, the National Basketball Association. I meant Ah, to tell you. Tipping off this week, man. Yeah. I, uh, went last Tuesday. Um. Nice. So the credentials are in. It's just, it's so different now. I'm sure it is. Everything I'm trying is to still get my credentials weird. back from, from the yeah. G League and Everything trying to get anything so with Zach, weird. but yeah. So they first taught, tell me, like, right now, it can only be you, one person. And until we, you know, understand, because I, I get it, bro, like the protocols. But if this is how it's going to be, like, how long? Like, are we going to be COVID until we're like 50, 60 years old? I, well, it depends like, on if you, if you want to, you know, yeah, you know, <laughs> but like, does, does anyone want to get, I mean, our regular normal, like our normal is we can't even go to the locker room, bro. Like they have to come out to us. Yeah. Like, that's not no, coverage. I, yeah. I feel it. I can go I, to it. I'm, 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 don't get me wrong. I'm blessed to go to a, watch a game, but the thing is sometimes to get those interviews in a corner with that guy that probably is not going to come to the podium. And that's where you build relationships. Yeah. You can't build a relationship with any of the players. And then it kind of makes the media like us look like we're bad guys. Right. Yeah. We're making yeah. these people come out out of their way to come talk to us. But in reality, we're just doing our jobs so and we can't do our jobs at fully now with the whole vaccination protocols. I mean, I'm, I'm like, I'm fully vaxxed, all that kind of stuff, you know, say what you want. Yeah. Whatever. I got all the 5g in my veins. Great. I don't care. Yeah. Uh, but, um, here's the thing. Bill Burr. Did you see the bill Burr take on it? No, I got to though. <laughs> he was he like, I want said, to be a mobile uh, hotspot. At this they point, were like, man. uh, yeah, so what do you think about all of the people doing the vaccination? He's like, listen, man, if everything's bad's going to happen to us, like, oh, what do we do? You really think they're going to leave the guys that don't want to get vaccinated, like, in charge of everything? All of the, oh, you get vaccinated, fuck that. Yeah. And then all of the people that are, oh, what should we do? Please keep, you know, they want us to. Yeah. It's just, it's so, it, it's back and <laughs> forth. I just, I know. I've had it, right? I think okay. getting it put me in a different mindset of where I was like, Oh, I ain't doing that shit. Blah, blah, blah. I, that shit is not a good thing to have. Definitely. Right. So it's, definitely. it's definitely something, but I, it, I just want the end. I just want the protocols are affecting a lot of things. Right. And I feel like part of media, part of coverage is getting relationships with players. And that's, some like perfect example like I got a great relationship with Ben Gordon because I used to interview him when he wasn't shit you know that's a perfect situation mm-hmm. so when you can only talk to you know the big phone phone they call him I don't know if you heard they call the him phone him yeah. uh, <laughs> that you can't you can't do anything else so okay I don't know it's it's I don't know bro it's, it's I mean, we'll see how it all goes too. I mean, players are, you know, having their own opinions too about it, uh, getting it, getting back. I mean, obviously Kyrie Irving is, you know, the biggest name in it. And I think he's still going to play this year. No doubt. I, I really do. I, I think he's going to play. I don't think he's going to, obviously he's not going to play all 82 if he continues. I think it's, I mean, I would assume it's going to be for the Brooklyn Nets and he's just going to play road games. And John Marks states. already said, if you're not, if he's not fully. Okay. Then what are you going to, I mean, you're, I still think he's going to play now. Okay. If Sean Marks came out, though? no, he's going to lose like $36 million. Care, though. Did you see his I interview? Still, I did. And he said he's far, far away from retiring. So that I think he's going to play, but I don't know. You're not going to let me play. I'll go somewhere that wants to, that's going to respect my. Put it this way. Teams. The Nets will be okay. They still have James Harden. They still have Kevin Durant. They still have a deep team. They drafted well. They had a good off season. They'll be fine. Mm. The Kyrie thing, it kind of leaves you in a loophole. It's like, dude, you are 
extremely talented. You were probably one of the top 10 most talented players in the league. And, you know, you have your own rights to do whatever you want. I, I mean, it doesn't bother me because he's not paying my bills. Like, I don't really care. Yeah. Like, if you want to have your stance, great. Do what you want to do, man. Like, do what you want to do. I'm never going to complain. Yeah. Do what you think is right. You're not paying my bills, so it's it's okay. Do what you think is right. Yeah. For the Nets, it's like, come on. Like, I understand where you're coming from, but you essentially have a job to do. It kind of leaves – it leaves everybody. I, I guess it goes to like you, you. You have a job to do, but now you're telling me I have to stick. Yeah. To yes, to exactly. It's, it leaves everybody in a gray area. Yeah. That's the crazy part about it. This is the tough part about it. Like you have a job to do with your contract means Kyrie. We don't want you to ride motorcycles, or we, you know, what I'm saying we don't want you to put yourself in danger. In danger. Yeah. That's different. Jason Williams is a perfect example of putting yourself in danger. Exactly running into a tree so same thing with ben roethlisberger after his like second year of the league three rapes is that what we're talking about well that? no no i'm talking about the oh, okay. oh, right. well Sorry. i mean i mean i'm not gonna i'm not gonna get into that i do not want to get into that but yeah uh geez <laughs> that turned dark really fast the young cheese hey whoops forgot um mm. sucks for juju too like he got that sucks bro so um you think this is the last year for that team steelers yeah yeah, they were done last year after they, no, they like, started losing. Oh, like the team put together. Tomlin, Steve Roethlisberger. Oh, no, no. I think Tomlin's going to stay. Everyone else is going to be like. So they're drafting. Keep the Najee Harris. No, keep Najee Harris and then just get rid of everybody else. Except on the offense. The yeah. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Ben Roethlisberger is like a. Ben Roethlisberger in the pocket is like a. Is like a snake. Is like a slug. He's just yeah. like a big slug. Like he's not we'll moving. Like. You know how he used to be like stiff arming people and like throwing everybody away. It's not like that anymore. I don't know how they beat Buffalo week one. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. I don't know how they beat Buffalo. That was so far away ago, bro. I'm like, what the fuck? So um, we got a couple of minutes. We we can't go without speaking of the aforementioned EC sports fantasy. Ah, Uh, My team's hot, man. Mine too. Uh, mine too. Uh, I know. I saw. Uh, I lost. What's? I have to ask now. What's your uh, opinion on what happened to me in week three? Oh, the stat corrections. Yeah, but bullshit. then there's no stat. It's bullshit. Corrections. It is. It is. It's such bullshit. And like I, I don't know for a fact if it was anyone else, bro. Just your luck, right? Yeah, I took. I took. You know, as a commissioner, you know what, here, fuck it, but that's tough. But God, you're so PC. I love it. Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So right now, um, my daughter's boyfriend is leading the league. Uh, El Mas Chingon, that's, that's him, if you didn't know that. I, I beat him last uh, week. So, I, yeah. hey, hey, you I got him. you, Dion. You're his L. Thank yeah. you. Um, and then, of course, Anthony D'Amato on the other. He's there. I'm creeping up you right behind you and Dylan right behind him. Uh, and I'm two games back in mine. So what's your, who's your team? Like, I mean, Dylan just handed you, I mean, he has Kyler Murray, so he didn't really hand you. You know what? I gave up James Robinson, who apparently is a top 12 fantasy back, which in in the last few games he has been, I got Lamar Jackson back because I was, my team was good, but I needed a QB to really solidify my team. So, you know, I, I uh, gave him some GM advice. I'm like, bro, you might want to hit up Danny. That's all I said. I didn't tell him who to ask for. I said, Danny looks like he needs a quarterback, bro. <laughs> I was rolling with Jalen Hurts. And and boy. he might give up something you need, which is a running back. Because, you know, we made a good trade. I mean, I got to wait a couple more weeks, but I got uh, George got Kittle. Kittle. Is it George or Greg? George. George. All right. I was right. I, and I gave Melvin Gordon and uh, Devontae Smith uh, yeah. something that he needed. You, you know, you understand the game, right? 100%. Some people, they, they, they caught, what do they do? They, they hoard their players. Yeah. They're, too they're like scared one to and go. four. I'm yeah, like, bro. To let go. Like, Something's got to change. You got to, you yeah. got to shift it up. <laughs> you got to flip it. And um, you, right now we got some guys that started slow that are picking it up with us included so yeah 
And I, I, I mean, the only thing with our league is you value a quarterback so hot, high. And I've always told you, Dion, like, let's take it back a bit. Like maybe Bro, every, every you five. Know, or do two. you do you even know? You're the only one that says, but I, I've never asked you. Do you even know that what I did? What do you mean? Like, how do you think you say I value it so much? Do you know what I did to tweak that? Do you even know? What you edited the the score? All I yeah, but all I did was this. If you throw for over 300 yards, that's a like a, a, a multiplier. Yeah. A 400 yards, that's a multiplier. It was like three different things, but that rarely happened. Yeah. And I just gave but, you a point for every catch you make. That's the, the but that's the thing. Like my guy will dink and dunk for 27 completion. That's like, oh shit, I'm already at 27 points. Okay, great. But I but, feel like you get a completion. This a positive completion. No, I feel it. I feel it. I try Lamar. To Lamar now takes my team from a good team yeah. to a championship contender. And yeah. and the and, and Dylan's team, he's got offensive firepower. Now he has the running back he has. I think it was a good trade. I, you know what I mean? Like I got my guy, he got his. That's it. He has two running backs now with Montgomery coming back. So yeah. Um everybody um, outside of uh Devontae's Inferno, he should just leave it as Inferno. His oh, only victory is the one that I gave him. So he's an yeah. Iowa Hawkeye, so I don't give a shit. That's um, hilarious. He, he, he lost a good his wife in his season. other league. How do you lose your wife, bro? Like, I don't care if you drafted the team. You know, it's fun. I mean, he he's having a good college football year. I can tell yeah, him that. Yeah, we'll give him that. But uh, I'm looking forward to see what happens. I mean, it's a long season. But having Justin Herbert and Eckler as my horses, I'm not really worried right now. So, yeah, I mean, that's it. I'm glad we uh, got back on the horse. We'll get back on soon for EC Sports. But um, I, I'm looking forward to see what happens with all of this stuff. Next time yeah, we'll talk about uh, Wilder and uh, Fury. I meant to get into them with you. But uh, that – that <laughs> What a slobber knocker, man. Yeah, it was, it was crazy. But uh, for uh, Danny, this is Dion EC Sports. We'll see you guys soon. We Thanks. out. Thank you.